Our first guest tonight has worked for decades in the highest levels of politics, of policy, and philanthropy. One has served as senator, secretary of state, and won the popular vote for president. The other is vice chair of the Clinton Foundation. That's just math, everybody. Of the Clinton Foundation <laughs> and a New York Times bestselling author. Their docuseries, Gutsy, is streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. Let's take a look. You got this. Come up one more, right? Okay. All right, now hold, hold with both hands. Your Put body. your body in front of my body. All right, I'm ready. Ready? Circle, circle. There you go. Let's move. Wow. One step forward, go. So heavy. You have heart. Yeah, well, yeah. Mama's like, you don't know my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, Hillary and Chelsea Clinton, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you both here. We are so We're happy to be here. Oh I my mean, gosh! I'm not, yes! Hi. I'm not alone in my happiness. I just gotta ask right away, having seen the clip, which is, be honest, which is harder, front of hose or back of hose? Because. Front of hose. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay thank you. <laughs> and, and, and who actually got to put on all the gear? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that would maybe a giveaway that your job was more <laughs> like a fire person. Yes, yeah. thank you. Um, they didn't even ask my mom. <laughs> really? She didn't even have to turn them down. They just didn't <laughs> Now, would her. you have turned them down if they had said, you want a firefight, don't you? Um, no, I would not have turned them down. Okay. She but, would have said, my daughter. That's right. <laughs> we, we did that all through the series, which was so incredibly fun for us to do together. And there would be uh, all these activities because we didn't want to just have the usual interview show. We wanted to do And the guests at things. the activities. Yeah, we said to the guests, what should we do? So when we knew we were gonna go um, out to the training academy for the fire department of New York to interview these incredible women firefighters, including one of the very first who was really a pioneer, um, we got out there, he said, oh, so what do you wanna do? You know, he said, well, we want you to put on the gear and we won't put all the gear on you. We'll only put 50 pounds of the gear on you. And I said, you know, my daughter would really <laughs> like to do that. Uh, True story. True story. Story. <laughs> well, I think, you know, any time, uh, you know, a parent can travel with a child, it's a, you know, it's a gift, especially yes. when they're adult children. Right. I think that makes a huge difference. <laughs> it makes a very big difference. I'm wondering how traveling now uh, together is compared to your time traveling together as members of, of the first family. Is it, oh. is it massively different? Well, I mean, it's just regular most of the time. We just get on airplanes at, like, LaGuardia or Newark or JFK and go to wherever we're going to go. Now, to be fair, I still do have Secret Service because I was once um, First Lady. So that's a little different because we can count on getting a car and not standing at the rental car yeah. counter wondering whether we're going to get a car. Is there ever know? a Secret Service agent looking at his phone saying, the Uber, it's so weird because it said, <laughs> it said five and now it says eight. <laughs> We're gonna really talk to them when they get here. Yeah. So no, it was so much fun. But it also uh, was similar, Seth, in the way that we've always had a lot of fun together. We've always wanted to have new experiences together. My parents have thankfully been always not only encouraging but expecting me to be curious about people and new experiences in the world. And so, in some ways, this felt like a continuation and also different because. You know, I was old enough to have a drink with my mom at the end of the day. <laughs> I wasn't 30 years ago. Right. Yeah, that's very true. And I would imagine, too, because of, you know, the life that you've lived, you have to make pretty extreme choices to find yourself into new experiences, which you did in Paris. Um, we did. You did. We did in uh, Paris, so, yes. So, Hillary, I'm going to show a photo. You, oh, now, come on. In the oh, moment okay. this happened, you on screen even said... <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? What have I gotten, have I gotten myself, myself into? I think into. this yeah. still catches that exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, the red nose that yeah. launched a thousand right wing yeah. memes. I am, yeah, exactly. I'm already <laughs> using it as a meme in response to text from my wife, you know? <laughs> well, I'm always glad to be of service. Yeah. And, and you know, when um, it was suggested that we go to Paris to clown school, because we were mm -hmm. doing an, uh, a whole episode about women are funny, like women yeah. get the last laugh, because when I was growing up, everybody said, oh, women aren't funny. And I said, well, I watch I Love Lucy all the time. I think she's yeah. really funny. And so we said, okay, we'll go. But I have to confess, I was pretty skeptical. 
it was one of the most amazing experiences. Talk about yes. experiences I did not have as first this lady. This is the clown school. Going to yeah. clown school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I felt like I was like in a comic all the time, but uh -huh. I wasn't actually wearing a red nose when I was first that lady. That must be like when somebody comes over to you with a thing of seltzer, that must be tricky for Secret Service. Yeah, that's like, a, that, yeah. That, that, is this clowning? That, is this an attack? <laughs> Put, put the seltzer in the back. <laughs> but there we were, literally on the stage of the Moulin Rouge, actually taking a clowning lesson. And people like Sasha Baron Cohen and Emma Thompson, people you know, have gone to this clowning school. We think you should go. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I, know, I know many who would tell you, oh, he's clown enough. <laughs> yeah. But until you put on that red nose, yeah, you know, have that sense of vulnerability, but also possibility, yeah. who knows? You, um, you actually, uh, you filmed an episode uh, with my colleague, uh, Amber Ruffin. Yes. yes. And uh, you actually spent time with her at her home, I you believe. Did. How, did you, uh, how did you find your time uh, with Amber? I can certainly speak to mine, but how did you enjoy her, Chelsea? Hilarious, warm. Um, she made us feel like we could be funny. Yeah. Which, you know, we, we think we're funny, but then she made us think like that she would maybe find us funny. And she laughed a lot, so hopefully she did and we succeeded. Um, I just, you know, Seth, I found her not only so warm and generous and supportive and encouraging, I, I also found her really wise. Like she just had a real wisdom about how she thought about comedy, how she thought about her show and he was part of her show. We got to be part of her writer's room. Um, she wrote a really hilarious skit for my mother in a pantsuit face off. <laughs> um, and I, I just thought like, oh, this is wise. She, um, she's wise and funny. This yeah. is uh, gonna make her impossible to be around. Oh. Everything you just said. <laughs> Sorry. The amount she's gonna stand up in meetings now and be like, if you'll remember, <laughs> I'm wise. <laughs> um, I have a million more questions for you guys. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with more from Hillary. <laughs> and